Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you some more luxury designer items that are on sale right now. This time of year in January, February, after the holidays, after the new year, it's usually the best time to shop for luxury designer items on sale because all these brands are trying to get rid of their holiday clearance, you know, last year's stuff and get ready for spring, summer. But because they're elevated luxury designers, a lot of these items are very timeless and classic. So it's not like you're buying just dated seasonal stuff. Now I posted a lot of these to my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there at a heated mess. Anytime there is a sale or deal or gift with purchase or freebie, I usually post to my Instagram stories first before I can make it to YouTube. I've already posted so many incredible deals from some of my favorite luxury designers like Versace, Tom Ford, Burberry. Some of these items are on clearance for up to 70 or 80%. But because they're luxury, a lot of the sizing or the colors are very limited stock. Some of them have already sold out. So I will definitely link everything that is still available in the description below. You can definitely click through to shop. But I was able to score so many great deals on sale, including Valentino bags, wallets, YSL bags, and these are all on sale right now at Nordstrom. This video is very generously sponsored by Nordstrom. I'm so excited to partner with Nordstrom once again, because in addition to carrying some of my favorite luxury designers, they also have a lot of contemporary brands and a lot of affordable brands. So it's one of my go-to places to shop for myself, my family, my kids, my husband. Anytime we have any kind of a family event, a trip, a wedding, vacation, back to school, Nordstrom is my go-to place to shop. I am a proud icon member of the Nordy Club, which is free to join. And depending on how much you spend, puts you in a different tier. And with each tier comes with different perks. As an icon member, which is the highest tier, you get tons of perks and benefits like unlimited free alterations. I get a dining and spa credit each year. I have early access to the Nordstrom anniversary sale and all members enjoy free shipping and very easy returns. I usually like to shop from home and just have it shipped straight to my home. But occasionally if I'm in a pinch, I can always do very easy curbside pickup or in-store pickup. And Nordstrom always has tons of great promos and point multipliers. Right now they're offering five times the points on fragrance and they have a great beauty gift with purchase right now. If you spend 150 on beauty, this gift automatically adds to your cart. It's a huge sampler of a bunch of different brands of skincare, fragrance, and this gift also stacks with a bunch of other like branded gifts with purchase, including gifts from Tom Ford and Joe Malone. So with spring break coming up around the corner, my family and I have a ton of trips planned, some weekend getaways, some longer trips, and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite travel essentials and kind of a seasonal refresh, restocking some of my favorites and also trying out some new things. Okay, starting off with fragrance because once again, Nordstrom right now has a five times the points bonus event going on for fragrance purchases. I talk about this fragrance nonstop, but I have the full size Parfums de Marly Delina. This is definitely my favorite fragrance from Parfums de Marly. It's lychee, rhubarb, rose. And then last month I shared the Delina dry body oil and they had a personalization event in store. So they were able to personalize mine with my name and then some little floral design. I always recommend getting the ancillary products for any fragrance you like. So you kind of pair your fragrance with the body oil. I have the shower gel, the hair mist, hand cream. It's just a great way to increase the longevity of your fragrance. Now all the Parfums de Marly fragrance bottles are very pretty, very exquisite, but they're also very heavy. So I wanted to get a more travel friendly size bottle. The full size bottle is 75 ml or 2.5 ounce. And so I just saw that they came out with a travel size friendly bottle, which is the 30 ml or one ounce. So this is the bottle, same very pretty packaging. And what I love about this travel size is it is a miniature version of their full size. I love that this one ounce bottle is a miniature version of the full size bottle because they also do make travel size spray just in a glass tube. But I like that this is a miniature version very pretty same scent same packaging even the cap has that little gemstone pink crystal at the top it is so fragrant right outside the box i haven't even sprayed it yet and it just smells so good this is definitely one of my favorite summer fragrances another new fragrance i picked up from joe malone which was very beautifully packaged i got their brand new rose blush cologne or perfume this is part of a limited edition collection of fragrances that they just came out with i guess for the spring but you have rose blush they also have rose magnolia and then rose amber and i just love the kind of playful colorful cartoon design on the front just for reference the typical joe malone bottles are very minimalist very sleek this is my grapefruit cologne 
and then you have, usually have the same bottle for the rose blush. And I love how even the font is almost cartoonish, like Comic Sans. I love rose fragrances, and I have a lot of different rose perfumes from different brands, but of all the brands, Jo Malone consistently makes the most authentic, most like fresh, real smelling scent of freshly cut, freshly picked roses. We actually have rose bushes outside of our home, and this perfume smells more like roses than a rose bush. It's just so fresh and pure, just a pure rose scent. And speaking of roses, right now Nordstrom has a great gift with purchase. If you spend $100 on any Jo Malone fragrance, they will throw in a 0.3 ounce of the Red Roses cologne. And sticking with fragrances, my other three go-to travel fragrances, especially if I'm traveling somewhere like tropical or warm or humid, are all from Tom Ford. We have the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is more of a white floral. And I like to layer this with the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi. This is more of a citrus floral. And then at night, I like to wear the Tom Ford Rose Prick. This rose fragrance is a lot muskier. It's a lot deeper and darker than the fresh cut like Jo Malone rose fragrances. But these are definitely my go-to travel fragrances from Tom Ford. What's great about these Tom Ford travel fragrances is that they come with this case which really helps to protect the glass like atomizer inside. So the refill just pops out and you can see how much farther you have left to go. This way you're not traveling with just a very vulnerable glass vial, but it's nice and protected inside the little case, and then the cap is magnetic. There's also a great Tom Ford Beauty gift with purchase right now. If you spend $350 on Tom Ford Beauty, that includes fragrance or makeup, you'll receive a faux leather cosmetics bag. So I mentioned for spring break, we have some trips coming up, and my go-to travel case is from Base. I love this travel case because it has all these nifty features. So let me just throw the fragrances in here. But it opens up to this very large removable mirror. And then you have this brush set that pops in and out with a magnet. So you can keep the brushes in this protective pouch that just magnetizes to the inside. It has an elastic to keep it in place and then this plastic protects it from getting anything dirty. And then on the other side you have a zipper where I like to keep cotton pads and like headbands and hairpins and stuff. One of my favorite brushes is from It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Dual Airbrush Concealer and Foundation Brush. This brush is so soft and it applies makeup so flawlessly. One of the things I hate about a makeup brush is if the bristles are hard and like irritating and scratchy, I, I just immediately throw it out. But this one is so soft and I've washed it so many times and it still keeps its softness and fluffiness and it doesn't shed or anything. So I just really like this one. And I'll just walk you through the rest of my makeup bag here. I have my go-to hand cream is from Dior, the new Le Bomb. I really like this hand cream because first of all, it's very pretty of the Dior Oblique, but I like that the cap pops up and it doesn't remove. Like some other hand creams has a removable cap and I will immediately lose the cap if that's the case. But this one stays intact with a little hinge. So once you have the cap open, you just squeeze the cream out right here. It's nice and moisturizing and hydrating. And then the top has a little stopper in here so it doesn't make a mess all over your bag. Now, along with my favorite foundation and concealer brush, my go-to foundation and concealers are the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. I wear the shade at 250 Sand and I have it on my face right now. It's very easy to blend. It doesn't feel cakey or heavy and it has kind of like a natural, almost radiant finish. And then for my concealer, I like the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Face and Under Eye Concealer. For lips today, I'm just wearing the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood. I love how chunky the applicator is. It's very easy to apply and it just gives you like a light touch of color. And this is new-ish, but I have really been liking this YSL Couture Color Clutch Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, the packaging is so pretty. This just looks so pretty on my vanity. I love that it has that chevron quilting, just like my YSL bags. But what's great about this eyeshadow palette, this is in the shade Desert Nude. It's a neutral eyeshadow palette that has a nice mix of colors. Now this is labeled as an eyeshadow palette, but I actually wear these colors all over my face. I mixed these two colors as blush on my cheeks. These I have on my brow bone and as a highlighter. And then I wear this as bronzer and contour. So I initially got this with just the intent of using it as an eyeshadow palette, but it actually turned out to be super versatile and it looks so pretty my makeup bag. I also picked up a new blush from Chanel from their Le Beiges collection. It's their Healthy Winter Glow Blush and it's in the shade Coral. I love that you have the little velvet pouch. It also comes with its own blush brush. And look how cool the design. It's a little snowflake. I love this coral color for the summer even though it has a snowflake on it but it's very pretty. 
And then because I have so many long international red eye flights coming up, I got a new eye mask. This is also from Chanel. It's the Laylift Flash Eye Revitalizer. And what I love about this is you get a separate eye roller and then you get a set of eye patches. So I'll throw a picture up, but the eye patches themselves say Chanel under your eyes. And what's great about this is you have this roller ball like eye serum. So you can put this under your eye and then put the patches on and then you can actually reuse the patches. So I probably wouldn't, you know, reuse it for like a week, but maybe throughout the duration of a flight, I would just constantly reapply the serum and then put the eye patch back in place. Depending on the flight, if it's a long, long red eye, maybe I'll do a whole sheet mask. But a lot of times I just like to do the eye mask because the sheet mask will, you know, kind of like mess up my hairline. I don't know. I know it's first world problems, but, but I, I prefer eye patches and an eye mask for a plane. So I like that these are reusable with the rollerball serum. And then as far as travel bags, I plan on using this Calpac Luca duffel. I shared this before, but this is the rose quartz color. It's like a, kind of like a shell pink. I love this bag because it's so lightweight. It's so soft and squishy, but it's very big, but it can still fit under the seat as a personal item bag. It has tons of compartments. So you have a separate shoe compartment here underneath. So you can keep your dirties or your shoes in there. This front pocket is large enough to fit a laptop. And then you have a full water bottle holder. You have very comfortable padded shoulder straps, another comfortable crossbody strap. And my base cosmetic case fits very nicely in here along with all my other stuff. So I plan on bringing this as a personal item bag. It also has a very convenient trolley like pass through here with a separate zipped pocket at the top. And then to match my cosmetic bag, I also got the base commuter duffel. So this is kind of new. This is a little too big to use as a personal item bag. This is really meant for an overhead carry-on bag, but I would probably use this more for road trips. So I do have some plane trips, like plane travel coming up, but we do we also have some weekend road trips. And I usually prefer duffels because you don't have to open up clamshell luggage. It's just easier personally for me. So I like that this has snaps on the side and it opens up super wide in here. You have a separate padded laptop compartment here, two mesh pockets, a zip pocket, more side pockets here. It's just super comfortable. You have a padded crossbody strap. You have pockets on both sides, a zip pocket in the front, and then the same trolley pass-through in the back. So if I'm traveling by myself, I probably wouldn't bring this on a plane trip just because I do need like a roller bag to hold all my stuff. But for all of our road trips, all of our weekend, like quick getaways, I am going to be using this a lot. My other two favorite go-to travel bags are both from Longchamp. They are the Longchamp Le Pliage Expandable Tote and the Longchamp Expandable Duffel. It doesn't matter where I go, what I pack, which luggage I bring, I will always still bring both of these bags. The Longchamp Le Pliage Tote is perfect for packing up completely flat and storing in my carry-on because if in a pinch, especially if I'm traveling overseas, a lot of these domestic airlines in other countries are very strict on the the weight requirements and weight restrictions for your carry-on bag. Sometimes my roller carry-on will have to be checked at the gate and so I can always take my Longchamp Le Pliage and just throw in, you know, whatever I want to keep in the plane and then I can either have this as my personal item bag or throw it in the overhead. And then same thing with the expendable duffel bag. Again, it folds flat. I didn't even do a good job folding this, but it folds otherwise very flat. This one is especially great if I'm overseas and I'm doing any kind of luxury duty-free shopping and I wanna take advantage of that currency exchange. I tend to bring some stuff home. And so this works in a pinch to act as a carry-on bag. And it's very easy, very lightweight, has a separate shoulder strap. That's why it's kind of bulky, but has its own shoulder strap. I always bring both of these with me on every trip so that I'm not doing any last minute emergency luggage shopping. As far as wardrobe travel staples, for every single trip, it doesn't matter the occasion or the climate, I always pack this Caslon chambray button up shirt. It looks like a very light denim. It's available in this lighter color or a darker color denim, but it's not like jeans denim, like a thick material. It's very light, it's very thin. It's long sleeve, but you can cuff the sleeves and push them up. So it's perfect for layering, especially for when I'm traveling in the summer and visiting family. And let's say we're going to church or somewhere where I need to cover up. I can just throw this on over a summer outfit and I just have like a nice little layering piece. Also for layering, I really like these Skims ribbed stretch cotton tanks. It comes in a three pack in a very neutral color of like navy, I think gray and an olive green. They also come in, I think it's pink, red and white, but I like these darker colors. These are a perfect layering piece, especially if you're traveling on a plane and 
the temperature is just all over the place. It's the perfect length. It's a little bit cropped, but not too short and it's not too long. And then also not technically a travel staple, but something that I will be traveling with. I recently showed this John Hardy Naga ring. It's this dragon design with blue sapphire eyes and then a diamond ring that it's kind of biting onto. I love this design and I mentioned that I had on my wish list for so long the John Hardy Spear bracelet. So I finally ordered it. I'm so excited. Nordstrom had a promo recently where if you spent a certain amount on designer brands, you get a $1,200 Nordstrom note. So I just got my Nordstrom $1,200 note and I was able to use that towards the John Hardy Spear bracelet. I got it in all silver and it has the diamond kind of clasp in the middle. It is so pretty. It is so stunning. Perfect for stacking with my other bracelets and my watches and I'm very excited because it's just so easy to take on and off. And then one last piece of jewelry, again, not technically a travel necessity, but something that my husband will be using every time we travel and all the time. I got him a new wedding band because he lost his recently. He was doing work in the bathroom and then he just put it down and it disappeared. He says that our dog got to it. So I went ahead and got him a new replacement wedding band from David Yerman. It came in this travel pouch and I always try to buy from Nordstrom if I can because if there's ever any need for like a repair or a replacement or if there's a defect with the item, it's so easy to get it taken care of at Nordstrom. So I got him the David Yerman Streamline Band Ring and it's in titanium. He prefers titanium. He likes white gold, silver, gray colors. So I got him the titanium ring and they had so many options to choose from from Nordstrom. All right, guys, that is everything that I got from Nordstrom recently, including a restock of some of my favorites and a seasonal refresh in beauty, fragrance, and some travel necessities. Let me know what are your favorite go-to staples for travel accessories, fragrance, beauty, and if you're trying anything new as a seasonal refresh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.